sounds of rapid gunfire from a dramatic display of combat demonstrations by the graduates of the Maritime Security Unit, showcasing their newly acquired skills. Structure that is known to be a terrorist camp. You can see this right The Minister of Defense, Mohammed Badaru Abubakar, and his counterpart from the Ministry of Marine and Blue Economy, representatives of the service chiefs, the management of Limasa, and the chairman of the Senate Committee on Maritime and Blue Economy, Senator Wasi Eshin Lokum, amongst other dignitaries, were all present at the event. This is not just a graduation ceremony. In his keynote address, the Minister of Defense, Mohammed Abubakar, urged the graduates to use the high tactical skills acquired during the four months of intensive training to combat illegal bunkery, sea piracy, and other unlawful activities on the waterways. As members of the Maritime Security Unit and graduates of the Advanced Combat Training Program, you perform part of the crucial architecture with the responsibility of safeguarding the waters ensuring that they remain safe, secure, and free from all forms of threats. The Minister of Marine and Blue Economy, Adebo Yega Oyetola, who commissioned the Armored Vehicle Workshop, emphasizes the project's role in securing Nigeria's land, water, and airways. A difficult project, as we all know, is pivotal in strengthening our national security and ensuring safety of our waterways. The technical expertise and competence of the Maritime Security Unit and the graduating student trainers have been exceptionally as evident in the precision and skill demonstration today at the shooting range. On his part, the Director General of the Nigerian Maritime Administration and Safety, Dayo Mubirola, reaffirms the master's commitment to ensuring safe waterways for the growth of the blue economy. For his unwavering commitment to the cost of ensuring that the maritime environment is safe and secure for all the players in the sector to harness the blue economy. Representatives from the service chiefs, including the Nigerian Army and Navy, praised the training provided by Homeland Security and highlighted the expected efficiency of the multi-agency collaboration. The graduates today come from diverse backgrounds representing the Nigerian Army, Nigerian Navy, and the Nigerian Air Force, yet united under one common goal to ensure the safety and security of our exclusive economic zone. The Nigerian Navy and indeed the armed forces of Nigeria requires your skill to contain our maritime security challenges. The expectations of Nigerians had never been higher than it is now. The event ended with the presentation of certificates to graduates as well as the inspection of exhibitions of Deep Blue assets. The Deep Blue Project, DBP, launched in 2019, is a combined forces initiative. Each year, it provides special training for the Maritime Special Forces men and officers for the safety of the nation's maritime assets. Deborah Abalama, Channels Television News.